Hello everyone, it's me, Mr. Alexis R. Osorio, and welcome to Mathematics Class. For today's video, we are going to talk about the properties of congruence. Properties of congruence. The properties of equality as well as the properties of congruence that follow from them are often used in doing formal geometric proof. The first one is reflexive property of congruence. From the word itself, reflexive, we can have angle A is congruent to angle A when it comes to angle. And for the line segment or the sides, we have line segment AB is congruent to line segment AB. Second property, we have symmetric property of congruence from the word symmetric. Okay, let's have example here. Okay, number one is we have if angle A is congruent to angle B, then angle B is congruent to angle A. And that's true. Okay, so not only for the angles we have symmetric, but also f uh, with the line segment or the sides. If line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD, then CD is congruent to line segment AB. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, parang pinagbaliktad lang yung angles at saka yung sides dito. And kahit pagbalikta rin natin sila, kung meron silang parehas na measure, they are congruent. And the last property of congruence is the transitive property of congruence. Okay, so let's have this one. If angle A is congruent to angle B, and angle B is congruent to angle C, then angle A is congruent to angle C. So, dito sa transitive property of congruence, we are now um, dealing with three. It can be three angles or three um, sides. Kasi dun sa number two, sa symmetric, we are talking about two angles and two sides. But when it comes to transitive, three or three angles and three sides are involved. Okay, another one, aside from angles, we also have if line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD and line segment CD is congruent to line segment EF, then line segment AB is congruent to line segment EF. So, we talk about three sides here. Okay, so for us to uh, understand it better, let's have example. Identify the properties and definition of terms that can justify each of the following statements based on the given facts. Okay, so the given here is B is the midpoint of line segment AC. Line segment BC is congruent to line segment CD. And this is the illustration. Okay, so uh, let's have this activity wherein we are going to think of uh, the properties of congruence para maipaliwanag natin or ma-explain natin kung bakit yun ang given statement. Because we will have the column for statements and reasons, specifically for statements and for reasons for this activity. Okay, so I will give the statement number one. Statement number one is line segment AB is congruent to line segment BC. Ito yun. Line segment AB, ito yung part na yun, at line segment BC. So, what do you think is the reason how these two sides or how these two line segments become congruent? Bakit daw sila naging uh, congruent? Okay, so para malaman natin yan, tumingin tayo sa ating given. Balikan natin yung given. So, kung mapapansin natin sa given, sinabi doon na yung B ay midpoint of line segment AC. At, at pag sinabi natin na midpoint, alam naman natin na ang midpoint maghahati sa isang line segment or line into two congruent parts. So, meaning to say, 
magiging equal talaga or congruent si line segment AB at line segment BC. So, the reason is definition of midpoint. Kasi ang midpoint natin is B. Kaya naging equal or congruent si line segment AB and line segment BC. So, don't forget, we can use um, definition of terms to reason out our statement. Pwede tayong gumamit nito. Okay, next. Statement number 2. Line segment AB is congruent to line segment AB. So, dito sa statement number 2, parang ito ay nabanggit sa properties of congruence kung matatandaan. Anong properties of congruence kaya ito? Okay, that is reflexive property of congruence. Okay, that's correct. And let's go to number 3. Statement number 3 is line segment CD is congruent to line segment BC. Okay, so tignan natin yon sa ating given um, figure. Line segment CD, ayun, nasa may bandang dulo. At line segment BC, yung segment na nasa gitna. So, kung mapapansin natin kung bakit sila naging congruent, una, binanggit yan sa given. So, pwede natin ilagay sa reason dito is given. Okay, also, uh, what property of congruence is line segment CD is congruent to line segment BC. Ano kaya? Hmm. Bukod sa given, ito ay symmetric property of congruence. Ito yung nasa ating uh, properties of congruence kung matatandaan. Okay, at ang huli natin ay statement number 4. Look, statement number 4 is line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD. Ito yung line segment AB. At ito naman si line segment CD. What do you think is the reason? How, it, how are they or how do they become congruent? Hmm. What do you think? So, dito pwede tayo mag-analyze. Pwede natin balikan yung una nating naging sagot kanina. Uh, kanina, naging congruent na si line segment AB at line segment BC. Tapos, naging congruent din si line segment BC at si line segment CD. So, ngayon, ano yung conclusion natin about line segment AB and line segment CD? Hmm. Okay, so that is also uh, included in the properties of congruence, which is known as transitive property of congruence. They become congruent because of the uh, first reasons a while ago. Okay, so nagkaroon tayo ng transitive property of congruence dito dahil yung line segment AB ay congruent sa line segment BC. Yung line segment BC is congruent to line segment CD. So, therefore, line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD. Okay, so just remember those properties of congruence and you will not find it difficult in giving the reasons for every statement in our activity. Okay, so... Uh, that's all for this video that is just about properties of congruence and I hope you learned something from it if you have question comment or something to say about the lesson just let me know in the comment section and I use the book grade 8 mathematics patterns and practicalities for this reference it is under Gladys Sinivera PhD okay thank you so much for today Goodbye and see you for my next video.